Hi, I'm Tim Modra, Managing Director of Modra Technology, and welcome to our demonstration of our Creel Automation System for Tufted Carpet, Creel MT. Uh, behind me you'll see our four robot 12 spindle system working, and I'm going to give you a presentation which is a uh, question and answer session um, uh, addressing some of the common questions people ask us about this system. The first thing we'll do is look at the machine and I'll give you a step through of its operation. So what we have in front of us is two mobile creels uh, put in place on the inside of our creel automation, our creel MT uh, creel loading system. And the function, the basic function of this system is to extract an empty core from the mobile creel and then place the empty core into a winder, winder spindle, and position then a wound package back into that one position. So we see here the robot moving to a position, extracting a blue empty core and placing it into the top position of the winder on the right hand side. We pick up a wound package and we are controlling the end of yarn importantly, placing that into the position we removed the empty from and blowing the yarn through to a top header. We will show you the machine running in between uh, my comments here, but what I will address in this presentation is an explanation of our safety system. I'll explain also how we load pattern information into this system, and also how we handle yarn faults with the Creel MT. So, the primary thing we do about safety is completely enclose this machine with a safety cage. So all the parts of the machine, the robots, everything that's dynamic and fast and high energy is uh, protected from the operators by a cage around the whole area and gates either end. On the machine, on the cage and on the winders we have e-stops. We have safety switches on the doors. And we have lockouts for power and air if you want to uh, lock them out during maintenance of the machine as well. We also have a safety reset process. And the safety reset process, I can indicate with this video here. And what I've done is, as the machine starts, as soon as the machine starts, I open the door, you'll see the robots stop their motion immediately. And the safety reset process is to re shut the gate, reset the safety system, but then actually to re-enable the robots by, by unpausing the system. So, when you open a gate or hit a safety switch, you, you, as well as the machine stopping immediately, the machine goes into pause mode. Shutting the gate does not start up the machine. Shutting the gate, restart the safety, and then unpause the system is the process of handling a safety stop. So, how do we get information into this system? We've decided to use an Excel spreadsheet as the way that we get yarn data into our system. And it's as simple as listing the number of needles that you require, the symbol, the yarn symbol for each of those positions, and the total length in yards or meters of yarn for each position. And what this means then is that you have a, if you wish, you have a spreadsheet which you can be flexible in changing the length of the product and changing the stitch rate of the product. And it's a dynamic spreadsheet then uh, which you can use to set the parameters of your particular production run. Or you can have this just as a locked uh, numbers only spreadsheet relating to that job. It's your choice how we get that information into the system. This is a view of the uh, front software for the Creel MT system. We open a pattern, we browse to the Excel file, which is the pattern information. It will then populate our screen on the Creel MT with the number of positions, the minimum length, the maximum length of yarn, the color count is there as well. 
And we also have the opportunity to make modifiers. We can add a number of length or scale the length if we want to make adjustments at the Creel MT. We also have the opportunity to decide on how much yarn we want blown into our top yarn collection area we call the, um, uh, the at the top header. And also, when we have a yarn break, we can add an extra amount of yarn. So we don't discard the yarn, but we ensure that we have enough there. An encoder overrun doesn't cause us to be short. When we change packages at the winder creel, we can add yarn as well. So this, it's not essential to pull that yarn and that knot through to the winder. We wind that small amount of scrap underneath that new color. On our machine, we have displays which are quite unique and they, they dictate and they, uh, they direct the operator of the, machine, of the machine to which colours to use at what positions on our winder creel. So here we have a stack of six uh, winders, uh, winder creels, six positions for our winders. And this tells us that the top three have position A, bottom three have position B, and they're running with 40, 43 ends to go. So uh, a, a four colour a pattern may look like this. This is all driven by the software which we load into the system. So also when you open a pattern, uh, we have the opportunity to, in our software, uh, give names, unique names to A, B, C, D colours. And they actually uh, appear on the display, the display above the winder creel, um, allowing the operator to quickly understand or verify what that colour A is. Uh, whatever you choose to put in that G column uh, will appear on the operator's screen. Okay, here we're demonstrating, here we'll demonstrate um, a yarn break. It's a, it's a question that's asked and we will expect, we will expect to have yarn breaks at this machine. How does the Creel MT handle yarn breaks at the winder? How do we handle a yarn uh, fault inside the machine? So first, a yarn break at the winder. Here we're cutting the yarn at the winder and as soon as the winder indicates that there's a fault, the, as a red light that comes on on the winder, but you'll notice, you'll notice here that the wind, the robots kept working. Robots keep working even though there's a fault, not a fault, a yarn fault. That robot there, just to the left-hand corner there, continues to work. So all the robots work. That robot will work until it comes to the position trying to pick up that package. In the next small video, we repair that one which we've intentionally broken. Robot still working there. Robot picks an empty, places the empty. Robot approaches the position expecting there to be a package. Package isn't there. The robot just pauses and waits. Notice the other robots all still work. This is only a local pause. And on the outside winder there, we've reset the uh, that winder spindle, the spindle completes, spindle is doffed and in position, ready for the robot to pick up, we raise the yarn, cut the yarn after the next package is, the core is in position and then the robot completes, picks up and completes. The other yarn fault we may have would be a yarn failure at the robot. Now a reason that might happen might be a knot or a yarn break, but we actually sense the blowing in of the yarn at the robot. If we don't see the ballooning of yarn, we actually pause the system. So here we intentionally pull the yarn on the left bottom corner there. We pull the yarn, we pull some yarn through from the winder creel and uh, this will prevent our uh, yarn grabber from holding the yarn. The robot will still pick up the package, but it actually fails to pick up the yarn and we see that we see that in this transfer here, the yarn, is, the yarn end is free, it's not in the gripper and it's not blown through. Uh, we have a laser sensor going in this position. You'll also note that the robots in the background still work. So one, we've had this fault at one robot, the one robot stops and it alerts, alerts us externally that we've got a problem. The process is to come inside, the air is still running. Uh, once you come into the area, all robots stop. 
you, uh, the yarn is blowing, you just manually feed that yarn into position. A yarn finger is preventing the yarn from unwrapping, so the correct length of yarn blows through. And then we press the reset, uh, the, this, the safety reset sequence on the outside, the robot continues along. So that ends the presentation of a few questions relating to Creel MT and on our four robot 12 spindle system. So and if you have more questions, let us know. Have a look at our website. There's lots more videos of this system running. Thank you very much.